Alrighty, so we're going to be testing uh, some ligaments uh, and uh, meniscus stuff for the knee today, uh, Jordan. Uh, so the first one we're going to do is valgus force. Okay. Um, and this test is to test the uh, integrity of the MCL ligament uh, in the knee. Uh, and so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, having your knee extended. I'm going to press uh, on the lateral side of your knee here, so on the outside. Okay. I'm going to be pressing inwards. Um, and what I want you to know, what I want you to tell me is if you feel uh, any pain, uh, and I am looking for uh, increased laxity in uh, the ligament um, for a positive test. I'm going to do this test at zero degrees and twenty degrees of flexion. So the first one, zero degrees. Any pain with that? Nope. All right, and twenty degrees with a valgus force. Any pain with that? Nope. All righty. So these these two tests would be negative for uh, MCL. Uh, integrity damage. Uh, the next one we're going to do is Lachman's. Uh, this test is to test the ACL of the knee. Uh, and basically all I'm going to be doing is uh, applying a posterior and anterior uh, force on the tibia and the femur. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be landmarking on uh, tib tuberosity. I'm going to be grasping around the tibia. I'm going to have my hand grasping the femur and I'm going to apply a anterior and posterior shift. And I'm looking for increased laxity and pain. Do you feel any pain in that? Nope. Good. All right. So that would be a negative uh, test for ACL for the Lachman's. Uh, next one we're going to do is anterior drawer. So we're just going to have your knee nice and flexed up. And all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to come and sit on your foot for this test. I'm going to be pulling anteriorly towards me. I'm looking for any laxity or pain uh, from the patient. And you let me know, Jordan, okay? So I'm grasping behind um, tibial plateau and I'm pulling forward towards me. Do you feel any pain with that? No. Nope. Good. All right. So that would be negative for an ACL. Um, next one we're going to do is pivot shift. Uh, this one is also for ACL integrity. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be intern internally rotating the knee and applying uh, a valgus force uh, in full extension going into flexion. Okay. Uh, you may feel a slight uh, clunk or uh, your knee might, might actually sublux and that would be a positive for this test. So I need you to let me know if you feel any of those. So internally rotate valgus force and between 10 and 20 degrees you probably would feel the subluxation. So internally rotate valgus and that would be where it would sublux. Do you feel any pain or anything like that? Nope. Alright and I didn't see any subluxation uh, or feel any uh, clunks so that would be negative for anterior um, ACL. Uh, next we're going to do uh, McMurray's. Um, and basically this one is testing for meniscus. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is um, flexing the knee all the way up. I'm going to be internally and externally rotating with the valgus force. Okay. You let me know if you feel any pain um, or you might feel a little click or a lock. Okay. okay. So bringing the knee all the way up, palpating medial and lateral joint line, flexing the knee all the way in, internally rotating, externally rotating, and then applying a valgus force. Do you feel any pain or nope. clicking? I do not. Alrighty, so that would be negative for meniscal damage. 